the things that was really difficult for me when I was just starting out on my essential oils journey was getting a handle on all of the lingo, specifically the difference between essential oils and carrier oils. So when you get a bottle of an essential oil, like this lavender here, that word essential comes from the word quintessential. Essential oils are often called the lifeblood or the essence of a plant. So when you pick up a bottle of essential oil, um, like that lavender is the essence of the lavender plant. Um, or peppermint is the essence distilled from the peppermint plant. And if it is distilled properly, essential oils have all of the chemical constituents and therefore the therapeutic properties of that plant. They are volatile oils, which really just means that they evaporate really quickly and easily. That's why when you pick up a bottle, like I have my peppermint out here, um, when you pick up a bottle, you can very easily smell that aroma. So that is because the molecule, molecules are so small that they're very easily dispersed into the air and so that you can smell them. Carrier oils, on the other hand, um, are the fatty oils. So I have some coconut oil here. Um, they think of the word carry, carrier oils. They're used to carry the essential oils to whatever part of the body you're wanting to use them on. So these have much larger molecules. That's why if you um, put coconut oil on your skin, it doesn't just sink in right away. It feels um, a little greasy for some folks. Um, that's what helps it um, to be able to not absorb so fast as those larger molecules. Why we use carrier oils is to dilute because essential oils are so powerful. So something like peppermint, um, when you put that on your skin, it's gonna feel very intensely cooling. Um, and so if you don't dilute that, it might be too much for some people, especially if you have sensitive skin um, or really especially if you're using them with little kids, those kind of things, or in any sensitive areas of your body. Um, it also just makes them last longer. Um, so these are generally more expensive than the carrier oils. So you wanna really make your dollar stretch and um, use just a few drops of this and then use your carrier oil to help dilute it so that it lasts longer. Um, it also helps it so that it doesn't absorb into the skin. So for example, if you were um, wanting to have some joint support, you don't want that essential oil to just um, immediately soak into your skin and just be absorbed by the rest of your body. You want it to be able to stay there for a while so you can really get those effects. So if you put it in a carrier oil, the carrier oil helps it so that it doesn't absorb into your body quite so fast. So a few examples of some carrier oil, Young Living brand, which is the brand of essential oils that I use. I'll talk about that sometime why. Um, but they have a really nice blend called the V6 blend. I use this blend especially um, if I want something really immediate. So let's say my boys are having a tantrum and then we just all need to kind of calm down. I'll put a squirt of this in my hand, a drop or so of lavender, rub it all together, and then we inhale and kind of cup over our mouths. And then um, I usually rub it on the tummies, on their wrists, uh, maybe even their back, bottoms of their feet. And just kind of, that just helps kind of reset us and gives us a much more calmer feeling and then we can move on the rest of our day. Um, another really great is the coconut oil that I mentioned. I use this as the base of a lot of my homemade lotions or creams, also as just a natural lubricant. Um, there is fractionated coconut oil, which has been treated um, at the molecular level to make it so that it does not get solid at room temperature. So regular coconut oil, uh, if you just leave that sitting out on your counter, unless you don't have air conditioning and you're just in the heat, then it's probably gonna melt. But most of the time, coconut oil is at is a solid. Fractionated coconut oil just makes it liquid. So I use that whenever I'm making up a roller bottle blend that I just then roll onto my skin um, to dilute my essential oils that way. Um, other good ones, anything that I'm putting on my face, I always use a carrier oil of either sweet almond oil or jojoba oil. Those are what I have found work best. Um, sesame oil is a really great one for oral health, for oil pulling. Um, we'll talk about that another time as well. Um, but it works really great for taking some of the bacteria out of your gums, some those kind of things. Um, olive oil, if that's what you happen to have in your cabinet, olive oil would be a great carrier oil. 
Uh, really, you just need to, there's so many different types. There's more even than what I mentioned. You really just need to kind of experiment and see what works best with your body and, and what your skin really likes. Um, just, you know, see what works best for you. I'd love if you leave a comment with your favorite carrier oils or if you have any specific questions you'd like me to address about carrier oils. Um, let me know. What are, your, what are your thoughts on this? So come on, let's take some small steps together. Peace and love.